新新业务启幕主题晚宴正式开始，让我们有请主持人、财新国际董事总经理李欣女士。尊敬的各位嘉宾，大家晚上好，欢迎来到财新的主题晚宴。今天晚上，我们希望与各位分享的是财新的几个新项目的隆重起航，其中包括我们重磅推出的英文新闻客户端和升级的英文网站，以及一个“一带一路”再展望的精彩论坛。待会儿接下来的这一部分，我们将会用英文进行。Dear friends and distinguished guests. It's a very exciting moment for Taishin colleagues and myself that we'll take our great content to the global stage. And here we will hear from、uh, Hu Shuli, the chief editor of Taishin Media, as well as, as, well as Ken Hai, the managing editor of Taishin English, to share with you, bring into our newsroom and share with you our vision and where we get our insights. Without further ado, let's welcome Madam Hu Shuli, editor in chief of Taishin Media. Thank you, Li Xin.、Uh, dear friends, thanks for joining us tonight. It's our great honor to have you all here. You might have noticed that there are two trees on the table. These are gateways to many of Caixin's content venues. Chinese app for Caixin's web, the weekly magazine, China Reform. And yes, our brand new English language app that we are about to unveil in just a moment. A tree is indeed how I say the family of Caixin. Our rules have never changed. Quality news, solid investigations, comprehensive analysis, and strong data. We have lots of branches, old and new. The tradable indices, the think tank, the news service, data service, and now the English app. Our branch to global audience grows stronger than ever. It's an unprecedented time in the media industry. We've always talked for ages about the challenges of the digital media. This year, we realize the challenges we are facing are much larger than we thought. There is the challenges of access to information, so segmented, so crowded with rumors, and so fast with new technology and social media. There is challenges of civic conversations. When people stay in their cyber comfort zone, and their perception of the world is largely shaped by echo chamber of the views they want to hear, and there is challenge we have just discovered this year that so many people hate globalization and blame it. For everything, shaking the foundations of the international order we are familiar with, free trade and open market. The consensus of global integration is in danger. Amid great uncertainties, add to many unprepared anxieties. More than ever. People need trust, worthy information, and carefully verified reports. In one word, clarity. It's our obligation and our opportunity. And underneath that is a strong commitment to the public integrity, that we, as journalists, report our time objectively. Comprehensively and consistently. I'm proud that Caixin has many talented journalists who work on exactly that, day in, day out. And I'm excited that today we're able to share this with our international readers in a much faster speed and with a much wider reach. 
Download the Cai Xi English app if you haven't yet, and you will understand why. Cai Xi today is going global, going data, and the going index. It's only the beginning. We'll do more to provide good journalism to readers at home and abroad, and more professional services to the financial industry. Thank you for witnessing the growth of the tree of Cai Xin. With your support, we'll continue doing what we love to do. And a good act. Go deep, stand tall. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Shirley. Your vision and your guidance has always been the greatest support of all the journalists at Cai Xin. And now let's welcome Mr. Ken Hai, my dear colleague. And who is running the English newsroom that we're about to share with you? That has the best China coverage, I believe. I got to admit, I'm a little nervous tonight. Um, it's 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 not because um, not just because I'm not used to public speaking, and it's uh, it's not just because there's so many smart people in the room. And it's and it's not even because wo shuan bu hao. It's 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 because no one in their right mind would stand between 400 hungry stomachs and dinner. So I'm going to be quick about this.、Um, but I wanted to take a few minutes of your time before dinner to tell you a bit about what we're up to at Cai Xin Global, which I I hope you've downloaded and got a little bit of a look at. It's it's a product we're launching today. The idea is simple. Cai Xin has great reputation here on the ma- on the mainland. Hu Shuli has been a trailblazer in journalism for her entire career. She and her staff of reporters and editors produce deeply sourced, unbiased, hard-hitting financial journalism, and you know it. Our job at Cai Xin Global is just as the name suggests: is to bring that great reporting to a global audience, to an English-speaking audience in this case. And now. That's not just a translation job. That it, it is that, of course, but we'll often sharpen, reshape, refocus, but more importantly, add context to stories. Because a lot of times, what what might be real clear to a, to an audience, to a reader here in Beijing, might be still pretty mystifying to someone in, say, New York. And demystifying is not only the role that journalists do; it's the prime goal of both the Both sides at, at Cai Xin, clarifying the nebulous, lifting the veil, telling you which way the winds are blowing, and we do this because many of our readers, our sources, are people helping to make those decisions. It gives us a huge advantage to help bring more of Cai Xin to an English language speaking audience. We've gathered a host of professionals, and they're with wide experience, and they come from all over. Uh, I myself started out in San Francisco, and then I worked for the South China Morning Post, and then in Hong Kong, and then the Wall Street Journal.、Um, but we have editors and reporters from AFP, from Reuters, the Daily Mail, and other major publications. And we're all here because we believe in Cai Xin.、Um, I'm not going to go through some of the, all the stories that we've done that we're pretty proud of that we've helped bring from the Chinese to the English.、Um, I just want to close by. By, by letting you know that at Cai Xin we specialize, of course, in finance and economics, but not every business decision is based on numbers and policy. That's why we'll sometimes write stories about pollution or schools.、Um, but Cai Xin, most importantly, is an independent voice whose goal is to explain how China works. We deliver real-time news and analysis that is unbiased and authoritative, and most importantly, we're mindful of of trying to. Trying to negotiate that path between propaganda on one side and overly skeptical skepticism on the other. Anyway, I hope you'll I hope you'll、uh, look at our website and download our app. Thank you very much, and enjoy the dinner. That's what we plan to do. 